This exhibition at London's Barbican provides an insight into AI data training. Huge numbers of pictures like these are needed to create artificially intelligent algorithms. From Apple to Anomaly attempts to show visitors how some things are simple to categorise. For example, an apple is an apple, we all agree on that. But some concepts are a lot harder to explain and the algorithms that we create have to deal with these abstract ideas. Even as a human, it can be quite tricky to identify what an artist model or a creep may look like, or in fact, many of the concepts that are up here. Yet people are having to create these categories and then teach what they believe to be the right answers to the machines. The training set is a database that is organized into concepts, and each of those concepts have pictures associated with them. But as you go further through the installation, the concepts get more abstract. We move through Apple Picker, the other things having to do with Apple, but we are, towards the end, we arrive at the concept of an anomaly. The concept of an anomaly seems very abstract, and yet abstract concepts like this are still built into technical systems. If you have a concept like a bad person, for example, that indicates a certain worldview. The whole point of this is that we may think that AI is all about technology, algorithms and statistics, but actually it has human bias at the heart of it. Take the search term Obama, for instance. Um, Obama shows up as a figure in many, many different categories. It's almost like a where's Waldo kind of thing. Been labeled by the people that made the training set as good person, a bad person, a greedy person, um, a leader, a loser. What you find, and I think what the example of Obama speaks to, is that you have a kind of underlying bedrock of sludge and contradictions and absurdities quite often that the AI systems are built on. Creating this display of approximately 30,000 images was a hefty process. To make this installation, I pretty much sat down and looked at about 14 million images that were organized into tens of thousands of categories. So ImageNet, the database that, it, that, this is, that the installation is drawing from, was made by researchers who went and scraped the internet. So they collected tens of millions of pictures. They put those images together and then hired uh, online workers on the Amazon Turk platform to sort those pictures into many, many thousands of categories. All of this just leaves me feeling that there are so many different ways of seeing the same thing. And as a person, you add some contextual and cultural judgment to that. But the question is, can we train a machine to do the same?